Good evening, YouTube. It's been quite a while since I've bothered with an update. I've been so freaking busy with life that it's not even funny. So I finally, after over a month, I'm able to get back to my razor and get some paint on this damn thing. So, time to get to it. Okay, so I'm doing some more of the more boring stuff at this point. Um, again, I'm taking the red trusty scotch Bright. While cleaning this at the same time, I'm going to be scuffing this paint surface up so that way I can apply blue paint and not have to worry about it peeling. But you could see here, bring this up to the camera so you guys can see, um, it's been making contact for a little while. You can kind of see it right here. Oh yeah, there you go. But check that out. You can see it there. It is all sorts of hokey. You can really see it on the undersides where the spring's been compressing from some of the stuff that I've put it through. And it's taken that paint right off. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to roughen it up like you can see here. Cause you can see how shiny this is down here versus how much of a matte kind of finish that is here. And I'm going to take my air tools and I'm going to clean some of the stuff off and see if I can appropriate that. spare you guys the boring aspect of this where I was sanding down and getting in there with the nitty-gritty with the uh, sanding the coil springs and whatnot but I have all that sanded down it looks good and I actually have the first coat of primer on one of them so I'll show you what that looks like as you can see this has been primed it's been drying for a little while now I still have to flip this over so I can get the bottom side but you can see the etching primer was designed to actually stick to all sorts of things like bare metal as well as powder coating that was on here. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to flip this sucker over. I'm going to have to spray bomb the underside of this so I can get the rest of that red gone. And I'll give you a hint of what the blue looks like. And you can see coming over here, I've already got the tip of this sprayed just so I can hang it and not have to worry about my painting. But I've got Ford Mustang Grabber Blue sprayed on here. And it is the exact color that I was hoping for. Like, that looks so good. So, both of these, as well as my front A-arms and all my red that's down here, is going to be going that same color. And here you have your before with the primer. And after. Damn, that's a beautiful color. Oh, that looks so good. And only with minor casualties. Yeah, buddy. Don't worry, folks. I'm not a monster. Of course, I did both front springs, because that would be just madness if I didn't, right? Right? Here we are. All right, now that the springs have got paint on them, it's time to move on to the control arms. Got this guy hanging. I'm gonna start scuffing that up. So got this and three others to go. And again, I'm just using a red scotch bright to rough up the surface here so that way you can get paint to stick to it appropriately. Considering that this is an off room machine. My bad. A few moments later. Alrighty, it's like 2 in the morning, and, uh, you know, it, there's no sense to stop it now, right? So, at this point, I have both of my lower control arms in primer, as you can see, and I'm just waiting for that to flash off before I give it some paint.
Good evening, ladies and gents. Oh, it's Shane and Mike here. Hello there. It's been a little while. Maybe you haven't been keeping up to date with all of this stuff. <laughs> Having some beers. It's Easter long weekend now. Um, actually, today's Thursday. So Thursday! Tomorrow is uh, Easter Friday. It's good Friday. Good. As you can see, I've managed to get my control arms all painted up there. We're going to come over here. But, uh... Yeah, you can see all that's nice and blue, and you can see here I've got the springs that are done up. I picked up some more paint today, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, kind of new to this sort of thing, but we're going to get started on yeah. my EPS system that I got from Demon. This is going to give me a little bit of an upgrade for handling and whatnot, so it's going to be a good old time, I think. Hey, buddy? That'd be nice. Yeah, well, yeah. for you and your old bones. Ah, uh, comes with a sticker. Sticker. Holy. Yeah. It's gonna be a good old half time. We're gonna probably put that on something like that, just like that. Oh, I kind of stay there. It wasn't That's really fine. magnetic at all. Imagine that. <laughs> no. There's dice. I mean, we could probably find oh, something that we could stick it on there, but yeah, but whatever. It's fine. So yeah, we've got all of our Mummy. fancy stuff there. It's, it's an 11 plus, which is exactly one more or more than 10. So that's cool. Yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. And uh, we've got a little brochure what for the... something that's not a Polaris. <laughs> that, but they got oh, wheel look. spacers. Wow. That's cool. Look, I like ball spacers. Joints. I love ball joints. Yeah. Yeah. Do you play with those ball joints? I mean, I fuck them up when I go ride hard, but that's cool. Axles, that sounds best suggestive. axles ever. I run these in my bike. They're great. Yeah, which All just so happens corners. to be what I'm loaded up with on this machine. So that's yeah. going to be freaking sweet, right? Awesome. Yeah. Great Heck yeah. Animals. We're just going to we're going to censor that cuz that yeah. What? <laughs> Beer box. Oh, I mean, yeah, the sensors. uh wobbly pop yep. box for the children back home. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so yeah. What are you doing, uh, dad? You don't need to know. This um, is actually really sweet. You want to open that up? Yeah. yeah sure. I like how they put an integrated LED in it. I'm assuming that is a fault code um, LED. So when something goes wrong with this, it tells you by lighting this up, which is very smart. We're just going to pull uh, some of this stuff okay, out. Okay, I've got, okay. oh God. Wiring in an LED to wanna tell you it. Pull my up. bag, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, oh, God, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> I barely had a grip oh, on it. Oh, this is not going to come out well. No, they're, there they're first try. Super great. Yeah, so it comes with the intermediate shafts that we're going to need to adapt and to the new system. Get the Put that there. Wheel to I don't know. It's probably Merka. 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 They're not greasable, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Well, we'll grab that. I'm going to put shit. this down Merky. over here beside my wobbly pop. I'm gonna put the, yeah yeah so, that, that's yeah. kind of oh, oh god that barely stays oh, it's yeah, fine heavy. anyway okay. so, so that the integrated everything will be integrated into this sucker inside oh, okay god bless me. um yeah okay I can yeah. see that freaking sweet so Smart yeah we've got all of our main hookups here it's super simple actually it's all it's play. really not complicated. We no. have two plugs. You oh no! A, you probably have a wheel speed. Um, yeah, that should be the blue signal wire blue that comes through here to go into that system, so it can tell how much it gives you. Or you can delete that all by itself, and then it just is going to work. It's going to be full but 240 you watts just all the time. Won't have I think. that feedback. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, depending on what you drive. So Obviously, neat. this thing's gonna come with a wiring harness, everything that we need. So that's cool. I'm just gonna. And then it's got bearings. No, just kidding. It doesn't come with bearings. But <laughs> we've got uh, this bracketry five. set up here, and that's gonna mount under your. This dash, is gonna go down towards the brake pedal assembly. Pet, pass that down over yonder. Perfect. And, and then we've got some more pieces. I mean, great. Yes, this is exactly what we're going to use. <laughs> no, no, we're, we'll be no. doing some... Okay, so if you know anything about myself and Mike, um, <laughs> we don't screw around when it comes to electrical, especially no, when we have a bad habit of things going wrong. middle of nowhere, and then you're screwed. So, no thank you. 
Yeah, um, we're just not doing that. So this crap that you pinch wires with and like stab. Don't. No, the no. thing's gonna be getting soldered no. the hell together, and that's just gonna be well, the end like of that. I like playing in mud with snorkels. This is your enemy. We're not doing um, that. So we'll just, yeah, like yeet, yeet. Yeah, uh, no dice, no dice. These, nailed it. These anyway, are... yeah. So it comes with the bolts and boltses and little flat non-bolts. So that's cool. I'm just oh, gonna nah, see, ding. See, when I tell you it has a brain, it's got a brain. Because she ain't stupid. But she could be. Uh, so anyway, here is your control module. This will do everything for you. Yay. Smart. And yeah. it's got a heat sink on the back, which is actually quite great because this thing's going to get hot. You would think that it would equip it with like a heat float. Because we don't want to be sinking, Mike. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, it's got rotterproofing, like, rubber dewies for your electrical. So, I mean, if you still want to be a mud guy, you can buy this, but, um, I don't just, it, it can only work so long in underwater. That's and all we do appreciate say. rubber dewies. Rubber so there's dewies. that. It, it really seals in the flavor? In the, oh. Oh, God. Yeah. No, no, we're not going there. That's some college humor stuff we don't need no, to be bringing that, up. No, that's like hip waders after a really hard day of working <laughs> and cutting bush to get into our camp. To be fair, it's probably going to happen. Do not smell the boots. Don't smell the boots. Cool. <laughs> so anyway. Little hole and, and then there's this piece, which is probably the most important piece of it all. That holds the brain in. Uh, Yeah, actually, so I'm not even, I guess I'm technically not bullcrapping, so well, that's kind of cool. Really, it does. It does what your spine does to you. That's cool. That's really cool. And that's yeah. really it. And that's pretty wow. much everything. Fairly straightforward stuff. I was thinking and that is what we're going to work on today. I like that. So yeah, I've got obviously all the control arms, stuff like that for the front. Everything's painted and ready to go. I'm still waiting for my upper control arm bolt to come in, which is going to be like another week or so because we can't get one locally right now, which kind of sucks. But back order. And uh, seeing as I can't really do much with that right now, we're just going to... Get cracking on that. I've got a respirator for safety, which I obviously don't need to deal with. Maybe I'm putting that over. I was painting. Oh, oh God. It's, and I can't get it in the box. <laughs> Story of Sorry. my life. Yeah, that's true. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be up to this evening. So it's going to be a happy time. Um, This, yeah, so it's a really long shaft. That's what she said. No, Oof. she never does say that. And, uh, Oof. yeah, it's, it's good. This is going to be great. I think you know, the biggest yeah. problem we're going to have right now is trying to work in this narrow oh, ass there, spot. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, jeez, this is going to suck. So the only real tricky thing that we're going to have to deal with today is finding a way to get this steering wheel off without yeah. a damn puller. Yeah, it's got the so. paper shaft, it's got a keyway in there, or the lines. And uh, normally what we do is we stand on the floor really hard, someone turns red in the face and pulls, and then someone hits the shaft with a hammer that kind of still on Sounds there. So suggestive. you don't punch yourself in the face and break your nose. Yeah. It's a good thing that everything's going to be flawless and we're not going to have problems, right? <laughs> Wait, this is 2014. It's been on the trails. <laughs> good luck to you, sir. <laughs> so first God, thing is first, stuff. we're going to come over here. Super fun. Yeah, so uh, things happened. Imagine that. Did you put your face in there? Thankfully not. It's <laughs> terrible. That came from factory. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh man, okay. I just realized how badly protruded the sticking out. Like, oh yeah. Look at this. It's like the glass is sticking out. Yeah, like it's really just like I could just like go in here and just. That's normal, right? That's how mirrors really operate. Oh wow! Oh, that's really this. cool. You, 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 you see, we can pull that out. Oh, I can. I can just do it lightly. Ever so dedicately, Ever, just yeah, here you go, sir. Here's your tin backed. Can you see the point of impact? It's plastic. I don't know. You can't. It's just a. It's glass. That's nice. Ish. Is there even a mark in the? No. No, there really isn't. Imagine. No, oh, that's wacky. Okay. Um, no, I think a stick come this way and was like, your life. Yeah, probably. This one didn't suffer quite as cruel of a fate, but that's cool. That's okay. I don't know what you did here. 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> physics happened there. Physics. <laughs> physics. So we're going to put that in a bucket. Hey, on the bright side, that's not rusty, like, at all. It's, it's kind of rusty. Yeah, well, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out how that goes. The best part, <laughs> Mikey says. Well, it's not attached to anything, so I can just do one of these. True that. Da, that da, is da. fair. Yes, I could use a ratchet or a fucking beautiful impact. I have one. I just got lazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. There. Oh. Good luck. <clears throat> oh, oh that's getting nice. Getting it Fucking faster! Oh, spin it! Whoa, we're racing now, boys. Oh, oh that red Loctite. Actually, I love red Loctite. Yeah, that's that wasn't all that bad, no, honestly. It smells <laughs> like red Loctite. It's amazing how you just know. You can tell just from the smell of it, yeah. from it getting hot it's when red. you're undoing it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's oh, just yeah. blue that's stuff. Nice. Don't worry about that. It's already breaking down. It's not even two years old. Spin it. Just to get the nut back on. I think that should be good. Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to whack the living out of it. Yeah, let's do that. The living F out of it. Yeah, because it's already kind of loose. Gonna... Just a classic. There! Oh, F wow. It. That yeah, was super easy. Well, because it's not attached to a rack. Oh. Normally, we're used to it attached to set rack down there. And True then that. we just kind of we start up top. Because none of the skin comes off, people. True that. We don't put the lotion in the basket. Well, I mean, unless you're into that sort of thing, right? Yikes. Honey bunches of yikes, for sure. But I mean, that we're not here to kink shame. Wait, we have to clock this. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, it's I've got my sad. moments, but come on, man. I'm a tech dude. Honestly, we can do this. <laughs> okay, so the wheel's coming off. Obviously, it's probably not going to do much That's because we're not, not spinning doing. shit. <laughs> Dude. It's not gripping anymore. Here. There, first try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can. Can we see him through that hole? Oh, it's not gonna. I can kind of see your face. Yeah, whatever. There. So put that stuff down here. Ooh, pretty. Another bearing there. A spacer, I guess. Just, start, just, just freaking hammer just on it, bud. Yeah. We have a little bit of work to do down great. here. We're going to have to unbolt some of this stuff. And then we're going to have to play around and jiggle things just so we can get access to that shaft. So that goes back, this, and. That whole thing will unbolt. Goes. Oh, we have to take the shock off. And this. We'll have to take the shock off. We have to do that. That way, this will be free. And then we can take this bolt off so there's no tension on it. And then we'll be able to get the shot, the this rest of the shaft out. Locks, locks and unlocks wherever you want. So if you want to cheat, you take it off here, there, and there, and you take it off as one unit. Exactly. And then you just. We need some entertainment after the crappy week that we've had, and we would rather do this and figure it out the hard way. We have the instructions. We know how this has actually has to hook up, but we're gonna see how far we can get without the instructions, just for gets and shiggles. Because like building an IKEA cabinet for your wife. Without the instructions. Oh, yeah. ex except the instructions are not in English or no, something. Normally they're not. They are in English for this kit. Don't get me wrong. We're just going to do this for fun. You're looking for your Allen keys? Yeah, Harbor Freight. Why would you be looking for your... Why would Allen have your keys? I don't know. I don't even know Allen. And I, never mind I that. Mean. Why does he have your keys? Dad jokes for days. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're really great. Here. Right? Yeah, they're, they're probably not great. But I don't care. Oh, I was recording that time. That's like the sixth thing that he's dropped so far. Oh, no. That's See, okay. That's one thing with the Polaris. You get standard and you get metric stuff. Stuff. Uh, <laughs> certain <laughs> items. And normally it's Allen's, and I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't know. Metric system. Oh, That's okay. That when you're made in America. And America. You got. You know, to be fair, with some of the welds that I've seen on this machine prior to my bad welds that I put onto it, I'm pretty sure that this thing was done on either a Monday morning or on a Friday. Fucking siesta. So we got the intermediate shaft out. I want to call that the. Is, that would be the intermediate shaft, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, so. It's the steering shaft. And there's more stuff falling. It's okay. Shit. 
<laughs> anyway, so That's we had to loosen this guy off, but these bolts do not want to come free the way that we... Sorry. Oh, these bolts don't want to come free the way that we wanted them to, so we just left them slack. And what we did is we unbolted everything, obviously, from the steering wheel and from down below. And we were able to lift this after we pulled the shock off. And we were able to just wiggle it out. It's actually not that hard to do. So I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to put this over with the rest of our stuff over here, which we've kind of done. That's cool. As you can see, just to keep things simple, we've left this shock hanging here. Yeah, we don't and we've got the yeah. bolt and the nut on there just so we can't lose it. It's not going to go anywhere. And that bracket is going to go behind the brake. Oh, right. Or is it? No, sorry. I think it's behind the, the throttle. Yeah. We'll double check that. I might actually just consult the manual just to see if we're on the right track with that. Yeah, but yeah. I feel that we should do that. Okay, so it's manual time. Hopefully I can grip this with my fingers. Grip this. There we go. Okay, you know we've got to pull all that stuff apart. We've taken apart the steering wheel. We've undone the lower column and whatnot. Let's see here, tilt assembly. We've got to remove the tilt assembly from the upper shaft. Keep spacers to re for reuse. Okay, we know that we have to reuse the stock shaft. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Okay, puts the supplied lower shaft into the rack and pinion, altering the or with the aligning master spline through firewall okay so what we need to do before we get too carried away put the rack back in we're gonna have to put the rack back in yeah. i mean it does make sense but mm. yeah we can do that it'll be fine time to go grab a rack haha <laughs> freezing it's a good thing we got one of those over here i just score a used one from ebay because my other one, if you guys have been watching, is completely shot. It's got split marks in it and all sorts of other sadness. So we're just going to grab that and that's, that's fine. Summertime sadness is right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Compliments of Mike. We actually ended up getting an extra grade eight from, of all things, Mercury engine crate. No. Mer yeah, yeah, it would have been from a Mercury engine crate because Mercury doesn't screw around when it comes to shipping their things. They put grade yeah, eights they, in their freaking yeah. kits. Well, so we actually happen to have one well, that'll fit, and it happens to be same size thread pitch and everything that we need. For the rack and after minimal searching we've got our two bolts that have to find mock up in here we've got two on the left here you can see one requires a, a nut the other one does not because it's already got one welded in there we go and that'll hold that in place and then these longer guys down here now, those are all going to go through. through those holes up here going through the long sleeves you could see that are on the actual steering rack. Okay, so this is your after. Okay, so so one of the fun parts about this being a mercury crate bolt is uh it's not the same thread pitch. So that's no. cool. No, it's not. That's but uh we're we are 90% sure that we have a nut that'll Ooh. fit this someplace. Hard cat screws. Oh yeah, that'll work. Just screw it. Yeah, screw it together. Screw it. It'll be fine. Okay, so moment of truth. Is it going to fit? No? Ah. Uh, no. I didn't think that we would have one of those just by fluke, so go figure. That's okay. That's fine. It happens. Uh, there. Yeah, see, this is why you make friends with technicians, because that, other technicians, <laughs> we keep things. Oh my word, do we ever keep things. Well, and you, you know, know what? And this is sure a nylock, that. too, so it'll never, like... So, yeah, yeah freaking mint. So now, the one thing that we were worried about is fine we can actually get the rest of the steering rack back together and it's gonna be a freaking fun happy time it's getting really freaking hot in here i had to uh i like heat i had to take the freaking sweater off it's way too freaking toasty that freaking fire is kicking ass and you know it's for the change we're hitting negative single digits during the days and now instead of like minus 40 which is funny um it was like minus 25 this morning when I left work this morning, and then it was like plus two Celsius when I'm driving around. It was freaking ridiculous. I had my windows down in my truck today. It was great. So, yeah. Anyway, thing that we've got Mike kicking around here 
with all his nuts and his bolts because I don't have any of that stuff here. That's all locked up at home and I don't have a shop to put it in yet, so cool. But as you can tell, we have all of our hardware into place. We're just getting it mocked up, aligned and whatnot. She's going in, boys. She's going in, She's going boys. In. Stay there. <laughs> and, yeah, I guess the most <laughs> important thing <laughs> it's gonna stay there. That's yeah. probably ideal. So long as I don't, you know, find another tree the don't find another freaking the exciting tree. way. Yeah. Let's, let's we not do, do we're gonna saw it down and then drive over. Yeah. That'd be cool. We're not we're not having that happen Still. this year. It's a new Dude, year. The world. No bad. But anyway. There's uh such thing as torque to yield and then there's torque to feel. And uh, currently we are using the, the available technological data that we have at our disposal and we're going to torque to field. Yeah, well, that's... They are nylock nuts, so... Uh, they're not going to back off. They're not going to back off. So Mike was just looking at the instructions, just for gets and shiggles, and yeah, he was totally right. This guy here, this main bracket tree, goes down yonder. Goes like this there, bud. Just slides just up slides in on. There right through the top well, actually she goes like this and that actually resources the original pull holes there okay. and then it bolts up yeah with the shock and everything there yeah we wanted to see how far we can go without actually without actually having to resource our instructions just for the entertainment value that's going to be going on behind this and uh yeah sure enough i was not even close it's kind of like boats but this thing is not really a boat yet uh <laughs> And I say yet for a reason, because... You talked about this, and I'm concerned, but you know what, yeah, you know what... This will be a little bit of a teaser for what's going to be coming up later, but, uh... Boats and a dream of mine, an absolute dream, was to be able to make this machine float. Because why the hell wouldn't I? That'd be awesome. You're going to put a 9-9 on the back but go trolling? I mean, we could totally <laughs> freaking put one of the trolling motors on there. That would be freaking hilarious. Although... I'm gonna use those uh, big ass tires that I got. Ah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. paddles. Yeah. And I've already accounted for the amount of weight, and for I did the math job. for it. But it's gonna be freaking hilarious to do. I imagine it'd be faster than Argo. Oh. With just straight tires. Well, yeah, because we're gonna have like yeah over ninety some horsepower. Well, you, you got a little bit more uh, <laughs> RPM. To yeah. Tires. But, Displace yeah, the water, boys. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the engine clamp for the 9.9 on the back. No, but, I mean, we can make one. We will. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, it's totally going to yeah. happen. Three horse coming up. Oh, yes. Minimum. We'll, we'll figure it out, and it'll be just entertainment I, for everybody involved. I feel it's going to be so stupid. the motor will... That's a last-ditch effort. I, it, I, it'll be a last-ditch effort for sure. It's not going to give us enough push. But we'll, we could put we'll the Johnson out. on the back of that thing. That'd That's be hilarious. Nine, nine. You got one. It's got, well, we'll yeah. see what happens. Going over here. And uh, we've got this bra bracketry installed for the most part. But we have one extra bolt. Which is not that guy right there. The little black one. And that needs to be a nut. We're missing a nut. We have one extra bolt. So that... Yeah kind of sucks. Mike is looking through his uh, little stash and we're gonna see if we can get something figured out. So other than a couple of bolts that I was missing, um, this installation is actually coming along quite nicely. I'm having no contact issues with the brake assembly and I'll show you here. You can see while I rotate the wheel, if I can get in here, you see that bolt right here. That would normally want to make contact with the brake assembly, which is obviously bad. So there's a little bit of adjustment that has to go on with this lower bracket that everything mounts to. I'm not much of a fan of how there's only the two bolts that hold this. This basically controls the twist this way, of this whole bracket assembly, including the actual motor that's mounted on it down here. So if you don't have that sitting nicely, is going to make contact with the brakes, which could probably not do good things, you know, when you're driving in the middle of the bush or down a trail or something. So, so I'm getting finished up with doing the wiring on this uh, EPS install, and it's going fairly well. Um, I've had a few issues dealing with the bracketry and getting everything to fit all right, but uh, I think I've pretty much got all that sorted. Here's what it looks like so far.
So I have all of my wiring over here hooked up. I have my wiring going down to the motor. Everything is zip tied down. Looks all nice. Runs down to the motor. Everything plugs into the ECU. And then I have the main power feed that goes from the battery right here, zip tied into place, and it runs along the stock wiring harness, which is tucked in back in there through the firewall. And I've got the black loom running down here. Along the front, you can kind of see it running through here. It tucks around and it comes around with the frame here. And then all the way along the stock location of the other factory harness. Back, wrapping around. Everything's nicely zip tied into place. And I've got my wires wrapped around neatly. Straight to the battery. Now I had a little bit of confusion with um, the remote wire for this thing, as it was specifically saying that it was a yellow stripe wire, but this remote wire basically just needs to turn on with the ignition. So what I did, a little different, is I took my white wire here and uh, ran it through, you can see it's right here, and I kind of wrapped it around and then I tucked it in to this loom over here, it's a pain in the butt to do this, but I did it this way, going all the way to my auxiliary power that we have, because Polaris is kind enough to give us extras. Um, one of these will go off to the 12 volts, like cigarette lighter looking plug that's on these things. So I modified the little spade connector that's on there and just hooked it up like so tucking everything into the wire and I will just electrical tape it all together so that way I don't have to worry about wire coming out. I feel like doing it this way will give me a cleaner install and just make everything look a little bit nicer and neater underneath the dash because it's already a disaster of wiring as it is. Okay so scratch that last bit there I just checked outside for that 12 volt supply that I was just talking about and it turns out the one spot that I chose to put that wire is populated. So I'm gonna have to go and change out my little connector to one of these barrel type ones and just use one of these guys instead and wired in basically the same way so this flat spade here is gonna have to get cut off and I'll just heat drink on a new one so be it okay and there we have it so as you can see I have all of that taped up it's tucked away it's gonna be tight and I don't have any loose wires hanging flipping anywhere. Thankfully, Rugged is kind enough to actually include a little test light here that lets you know whether everything's hooked up properly or not. Now that I have my power and everything hooked up, and it's not freaking out. It's good to go. She's installed. Time to get the rest of this stuff done. Well, that's it for this video. I'll be putting blooper clips at the ends of these videos of things that I had to edit out, but I couldn't help but not include one way or another. So if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like this video. And uh, if you want to see more of what we're going to be up to, consider subscribing. I wouldn't be making videos like this if it weren't for you guys. So thanks for everything. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, buddy. Bend over. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh god, I, I think I just saw something really oh, interesting. My tight pants. So, now that I've got my auxiliary power and my remote heart, everything down here was freaking flooded, and Mike's ah. tripping on my box, which is not in the kind of erotic sort of way, which is, you know. If life. you had one, I wouldn't treat you any differently, but I mean, you'd be one cool chick. That would be really it. <laughs> Why won't you stop? Stop recording, you bitch!